Today I'm going to be walking you through how I built this Power BI dashboard right here. But first, let's take a closer look at what it can do. It has three cards right over here, one for current year, one for prior year, and one for year-over-year -year comparison. These cards drive the line graph that's over here in the center, and when you click through them, it switches the line graph, showing different pieces of information. You can also swap out the metric by clicking up here at the top from a dollar figure to quantity, and then you can go through and you can do the same interaction. This dashboard will seemingly simple, that's a lot happening under the hood. So let's jump into Power BI Desktop and let's see how it works. First things first, we're gonna start with the data model. The data model is a simple star schema with a fact sales table and then dimensional tables for product, customer, dim date, and dim store. Uh, this data is something that I generated using a simple Python script for this portfolio project. There are a couple other table objects in this Power BI file. So let's take a look at what those are. First, we have two tables just with measures, one for analytic measures, which are measures that we're going to use in our visuals to display data, and one for our UI measures, which are measures that we use to uh, drive visual interactions. Then we have a calculation group. So in this calculation group, we have a couple of different calculation items. We have our current year calculation, our prior year calculation, and then our year over year calculation. Finally, we have a field parameter table. This field parameter is what's driving the switching between quantity and sales. All right, now it's time to jump into the front end of the report. First, we're going to start with the background. The background of the report has been set to a light gray, and then we have essentially four different shapes. So we have a white box right here, a black line right here, and then two boxes uh, serving as our main background. And these boxes have a one pix border and then a slight shadow of a dark gray to provide them a little bit of that flat 3D text look. Jumping into the card visual, it's surprisingly simple. It's the calculation group brought into the new small multiple section and then the field parameter metric selection brought into the data section. We have a, a reference label of uh, just a simple measure that shows click to explore with the unichar arrow. Each graph over here to the side is just a unique graph. The line chart does have its own small multiples feature, uh, but I couldn't quite get the formatting right. And then there are a few examples of people who have done this using SVG visuals, but I was trying my best to use only Power BI native reporting. So these are just small, tiny line graphs with all of their formatting, except for the spark line turned off. The measures that I've brought into the line graphs over here on the side are also surprisingly simple. We just have month and then our metric selection field parameter. Up at the top of the report, we have a slicer that has been set to single select that allows you to switch between the two measures that are a part of the field parameter. The big graph that you see in the center is actually two graphs. The first graph is this big center graph. Uh, and when you're switching between these two views, it's just changing the filters on the graph with those filters on the graph just being the calculation group. So either current year or prior year, depending on which card you've selected. This graph also has surprisingly few uh, measures or fields brought in with our x-axis being our month, our y-axis being our field parameter, and then our legend being our category. The second graph that's being displayed in the middle is basically the same graph, only we've rearranged a few of the fields and then set our filters to show both current year and prior year. One of the things we've done here is we've utilized the small multiples field. So let's take a look at what fields we're using. We still have month in the x-axis, the field parameter in the y-axis, but the legend has now become uh, by year, which is actually the calculation group column renamed. And then we have moved the category field from the legend into the small multiples. So that way we get a graph for each and every single one of these. Finally, we've turned the cards into buttons by essentially putting a bookmark navigator over them and then making the bookmark navigator uh, essentially invisible by turning off all borders, all backgrounds, all labels. The bookmark navigator is switching in between three bookmarks. 
And while I know a lot of you dislike bookmarks, the bookmarks are really pretty simple. Just changing filters and the visibility of the line graph and then the text on the center. And that's it. That's the whole dashboard. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing as I'm putting out content like this quite frequently. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about me and what I do for a living, consider clicking on my LinkedIn and checking it out, maybe giving me a follow. I took a slightly different approach with this video because I noticed that people weren't making it all the way through my tutorials. And so instead of going really in depth with every single visual setting, I decided to give a high level overview so you could recreate something similar. If you're interested in taking a look at the file, it's going to be available on my GitHub, which is also linked down in the video description. And if you want to have me give a more detailed walkthrough about any single piece or any single visual setting, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.